front of the wine gate. We are in the sprinkle pool and got me and my pizza. Jay's also got the brand new EPO. This is where my Miami trip begins in the world's smallest hotel room. Um, so yeah, I'm heading to Miami for a trip with Olympus. Me and Jay are going to capture some photos on the brand new EPL 9. Check it out. Um, yeah, and our flight is not ridiculously early, but I decided so I didn't have to stress and worry about my taxi arriving that I would book into one of these little pod hotels that you get at airports. So I am at the Heathrow Yotel and uh, check out my little high rise cabin bed. How cute is that? Got a little TV, and then I think. I think this might fold out as well but anyway little table can hang up stuff here pillows and then a little bathroom too toilet towels and a shower so it's quite small and compact um, but the idea is is that um, you're right here at the airport it's really convenient so I just decided that then I wouldn't have to stress about my taxi not turning up so yeah we fly tomorrow to Miami and uh, I'm so excited but I've got a video to edit so I'm gonna get up in my raised cabin bed now and then um, do a bit of work on my Miami haul which I filmed today and yeah I shall see you in the morning ready for our flight night morning so I'm a little bit croaky today but um yeah, had a okay night's sleep. Was up quite late finishing my video, but now I am ready to go to the airport and check in. So I've got my travelling outfit on, which is these uh, nice joggers, which you might have seen in my haul, and um, cashmere jumper, and a little vest. I actually decided not to wear the grey one because I did actually look like I was in pajamas. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're gonna go and get the shuttle over to Terminal 3 and meet Jay and so I'll see you later. <laughs> Say hi! Not the best looking shot ever. Sorry, dude. We've gone to the wrong gate. I blame Jay. It's all Jay's fault. Look. Here he comes. What am I doing? I think it was your fault that we went to the wrong gate. I was following you. <laughs> well, I didn't check it. <laughs> Never follow Debs' sense of direction. <laughs> Ask anybody. It's rubbish. I'm still at home. Debs has got her sunglasses on. We're cruising to the hotel with our lovely Uber driver. Palm trees. We have just arrived to our first hotel um, for our time in Miami Beach. We are staying at the amazing Plymouth Hotel. So I did quite a lot of research into what hotels um, we could stay in and I just fell in love with the Plymouth and you can sort of see why. Um, one of the reasons I wanted to come to Miami is because of the whole Art Deco vibe it's got going on. I'm really into that kind of architecture. Loads of pastel colours. You guys know how much I love pastel colours. So in this hotel is all restored. Art Deco hotel but with a little bit of a modern twist. So I'm going to give you a little room tour of my room. So I've got a, a balcony room um, with a, a king size bed and the bathroom is stunning. So I'm going to show you around. This is the bed. One of the reasons I booked this hotel was for these amazing pink headboarded beds. I just, 
I love them. So yeah, really nice big um, king size bed. And then over here, there's a little um, desk working area. They've left me a bottle of wine with a little letter to welcome me here, which is lovely. Um, artwork on the walls. There's a little um, coffee machine there too. And then on the other side of the room, TV. And then the bathroom is over this side. Bathroom is absolutely amazing. So over here we've got a little, this is essentially the mini bar on this really cute art deco trolley. In this little cupboard here is the wardrobe. And then this is the bathroom. Ah, bathroom of dreams. Check out these tiles. And actually, this bathroom is huge. Um, and then it has really nice period um, features like this mirror and the lights above and this absolutely beautiful marble sink with pink tumblers. I mean, it's just, it's just made for bloggers, this hotel, I think. Um, Jay's room also has a pink bed, so <laughs> he's also got himself a bit of pink and marble as well. And then I do have a beautiful um, terrace as well. It hasn't got the greatest view in the world because there is some building work going on but it's a beautiful big space. So yeah, huge big terrace with some lounger and seating area. And you can see straight down there. So the beach is actually this way. So it's on the other side of the hotel. But considering they gave it me um, gave it me as a little bit of a last minute upgrade actually so I'm really happy uh, very lucky so thank you very much Plymouth for my slightly bigger room but yeah so I'm just gonna um, unpack a couple of little bits just gonna do a very very quick very quick outfit change and then I think me and Jay are gonna go out for a wander maybe get some food and make the most of our first evening here it's about half past five now um, US time so yeah a little bit tired from the flight but gonna go make the most of the warm weather it's so warm outside it's absolutely beautiful so yeah catch you later but I have uh, just had a little quick refresh put a little bit more makeup on and just um, got changed into just a little something we're gonna go and have a wander and then find something to eat so um, this is what I'm wearing I've got on the little um, Kind of linen -y Zara vest from my haul and the polka dot collots crop trousers um, from my haul. My gold sliders which weren't in my haul because at the last minute I decided to chuck them in. Um, so I've got them on and I've just got the little um, Zara basket bag. I'm wearing that little combo necklace which is from Matalan which is um, a coin and a, a horn together in one in a kind of gold colour. So yeah, and I've just touched up my makeup a little bit. Um, and still I've got too much on. It's so humid here in Miami, so you don't necessarily want too much uh, makeup on. But yeah, going to go for a wonder. I'm debating about taking my cream blazer with me as well, just in case we're out later and it gets a bit cooler. So I think I'll just carry it. So yeah, going to go for a little mooch around. So me and Jay are just having walk along the boardwalk. A mosey. a mosey along the boardwalk. It's a little bit windy but it's warm wind. It's so humid and lovely. And you can see the beach from where we are. Oh God, it looks so nice. Sun, sun, sun. Also me and Jay have accidentally worn colour coordinated outfits. So Jay is also wearing, would you like to talk us through your ensemble? Yes. Chinos from ASOS. Oh, very nice. <laughs> uh, seven, feet, seven feet apart shoes and an Olympus pen. And an Olympus pen. Jay's also got the brand new EPL9. So we're both shooting on the EPL9 for this trip. And um, Jay's got very different 
um, shooting style to me and editing style, don't you? So it's going to be interesting to see what kind of pictures he gets versus my pictures. So. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go find a cocktail and some food. Food! Food! Because we're starving, even though I ate all of Jay's meals on the plane because Jay didn't eat them. So I had two <laughs> meals! I'm a feeder. And I ate before I got on the plane, so basically today I've had... Nine meals? <laughs> yeah, like four, four or five meals. And so, an ice cream? And an ice cream. It's been a pretty good day so far. So I've been up um, quite a while actually because I had to finish off my um, Miami holiday haul which has gone live on my channel. Uh, it's actually raining a little bit today, there's been some thunderstorms and we kind of knew that was going to happen. Hopefully it'll clear up later but we're actually off into central Miami to go to the uh, Museum of Ice Cream which I'm so excited about. So this is what I'm wearing, I've got on this um, Kate Spade denim jumpsuit. I've also got this um, blue bucket bag with a scarf tied on it, which is actually an Olympus bag. So it's designed for putting your Olympus pen in. It's got all padded section in it. And then I'll just come over to the window, it's a bit brighter. And then uh, I've got on um, a little um, coin necklace from New Look and big hoop earrings from H&M. And yeah, I've just um, curled my hair a little bit with my conical wand, and that's it. Uh, ready to go. So I'm not going to take a coat or anything because it's really warm. It's just a bit wet. So, but yeah, looking forward to the Museum of Ice Cream. So I better go and meet Jay because I'm running late, <laughs> as always. So, yeah, let's go. We are here at the Museum of Ice Cream. Check out the um pink palm trees, I'm liking them, so yeah, I'm not quite sure what to expect for this place, but I hope. It's very noisy, but yeah, excited to go in. <laughs> it's a pool full of sprinkles! you got sprinkles in your lens. Museum of Ice Cream, well worth a visit and make sure, you like ice cream. yes, but make sure you bring your camera and aim to take loads of pictures because it's just all Instagram worthy, so yeah. 
Fun morning. Very fun morning. And ice cream for lunch. Mm -hmm. film of the outside of Big Pink. is Monday. Uh, I was up quite early this morning just to take some pictures. Me and Jay have been down to the pool this morning and taken some pictures by the pool and sadly we're checking out of the, um, the Plymouth today which is a shame but exciting because oh right uh, because we're moving to the Mondrian so I'm really really excited to go and stay at that hotel. This is quite a vintage style um, art deco hotel and the Mondrian is much more modern so so we're gonna head off now and have a little bit of a wander down Ocean Drive but I'll show you quickly what I'm wearing so I've got on this pink top from Primark I've got that Zara um, scarf in my hair just tied around my ponytail just for a bit of interest uh, denim cutoffs from Primark as well my little Matalan bag and my Emu Australia Espadrilles. So yeah, we're gonna go for a little wander and um, hopefully have um, some Cuban food as well. So, but yeah, I've got to check out first. at the one hotel. I've not had one of them yet. That's my other favourite cocktail. Yeah, I don't like coconut, so I definitely win. Oh, hey! <laughs> nice? <laughs>
Good morning. It is Tuesday today. Uh, sorry I didn't um, show you what I wore out last night. We went, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, for a quick cocktail and then we went bowling at the Edition Hotel and then we went for some Cuban food. But I couldn't show you because this hotel that we're in, the Mondrian, which I'll do a room tour later when it's a bit tidier, um, doesn't have a full length mirror. So I can't do the whole, so I'm gonna try my best to do a little panning shot today of what I'm wearing. So I'm slightly more dressed up to go out today because we're going to uh, have drinks on the one hotel rooftop bar. <clears throat> Sorry, a bit croaky today. And um, also go to eat at the Versace restaurant for lunch. So, so I'm wearing something a little bit nicer. So I've got on this um, midi dress with buttons down the front from Primark and my little basket bag. And then I've got on my um, next tortoiseshell hoops uh, for jewellery and my, let's spin round, just some flat tan sandals. It's a little bit dressier, but yeah, so um, I need to go and meet Jay now. And then we're going to go and um, have some drinks and have some lunch and then... Oh, don't look at that mess. <laughs> That's my case exploded. But yeah, uh, when I come back later and they clean the room, I'll do you a little room tour of the Mondrian. Um, it's lovely. I don't like it as much as the Plymouth. It's quite noisy. Uh, so next door I've got music going, outside's got music going, and I like more of a chilled out vibe, but the view's incredible and the room's massive, so you kind of like have to like it for that really. So yeah, uh, let's go. Better go to Jay's room. So it turns out that we're not allowed to go um, on the one hotel rooftop bar until after 7 o'clock. So instead we're back with our usual Starbucks. Um, but we are going to hopefully go and eat at the Versace restaurant. Hence why we're both so jazzily dressed up. Very Miami. Looking very swish, both of us. Very dressed up for down here on the beach when everybody else is in shorts. But this is very nice. Beautiful and sunny. How's everything Good. looking? Good. Looks great. Uh, oh yeah, can I just get some just tap water? Mm -hmm. Much rather eat this kind of food than um beefy sarchy food. So this is my Mondrian hotel room. Uh, this is the bed. A uh, huge big bed with this amazing um, light box behind it, which I think can go two different colours. Then this is the little kitchen area, so there's a little dining table and this cute kitchen area. Look at this chandelier, very cool. Liking the tiles, uh, this is the sort of mini bar. And then this is the bathroom with this amazing shower that has the coolest mosaic tiles in it and a chandelier in the ceiling. And I'm very much liking this little um, gold shelf here. Very, very nice. There's a sort of blue and white theme in this hotel as well. So these little plates with hooks on. And yeah, that's it. But as you can hear, it is a pretty noisy hotel. Not like the sanctuary of the Plymouth. and in case I jump, drop it over there. So we are here at one hotel. Finally! Finally! We came earlier and we weren't allowed in. Because so <laughs> they don't let people into some So we've come back and it's the most beautiful sunset and we're about to have a cocktail. Yes. Hopefully very nice cocktails. Yeah, I'm going to have a mojito. Of course. <laughs> because I always have a mojito. I keep, I keep flashing in my dress. It, the wind keeps catching it. It's it's not good, people. It's not good. Mm. Oh, 
Oh, you look so happy. I am happy. I've got a passion fruit drink. Wow. I have a frozen rose cocktail. I'm very excited about it. Let's see what it's like. <laughs> like some good shiz. I said shiz. Hello, hello, hello. It is our last day here today. Um, this morning our plan was just to take the last few pictures that we needed to get um, for Olympus and then we found out that the Mondrian does not allow you to take uh, cameras around the pool. So it's pretty annoying because I booked this hotel based on how like Instagrammable the pool was and thought we could get some really, really good content and we couldn't get any of it because of this stupid rule. So we were a bit disappointed really, so we ended up walking down the quay, um, down the, uh, uh, I don't know, what would you call it? The front, it's a bit northern that, isn't it? Uh, yeah, down the bay, um, to see if we could find somewhere else to take some pictures, so anyway. So we're about to go for lunch, we're gonna check out first actually, and then go for lunch in the hotel restaurant. Then this afternoon we're just gonna sit by the pool, we don't have to leave for the airport until five. Um, but yeah, it's boiling as you can see, I'm like so sweaty. So uh, yeah, not really wearing anything exciting, just uh, my beach shirt tied up with my bikini underneath and my uh, chinos and some sandals just to go and eat lunch and then I'm gonna get back into my bikini and try and catch some last minute rays. So yeah, it's been an amazing trip, um, but sadly I can't take the camera down and show you lunch or anything because I'm not allowed it down there. So apologies. I will catch you later when we're on our way to the airport. Bye. If you have any questions, please ask them if you're coming through. Thank you. What, in case you get a copyright strike? We are on our flight home. Are you sad? We've got to go home. Do you hear? <laughs> Jay looks like a lobster. Yeah. And I look rough because I've got no makeup on because we're flying overnight. But we're on a much newer plane, which is very swanky, isn't it? It's very swanky. Much nicer than when we flew out. We've got loads of leg room. So yeah, we're going to relax. Have a sleep, watch some films, and um, yeah, that's it. End of the trip. We've enjoyed it. We have. And we hope you've enjoyed watching us enjoy it. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes, like and subscribe. Thanks.